What's going on, guys? It's your boy. And I don't remember what fucking part this is, but welcome to part whatever this is of G. I think it's part 18. Part 18 of GTA 5 for the Xbox Series X. What's going on, guys? Uh, a couple things before I get started. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch, which I just started streaming, so nobody's here. Um, the title of the the um, the Twitch stream is called uh, Canelo Wins. So I, would, I do want to talk about that. Obviously, I'm wearing the shirt. But before I get into that, guys, it is late as fuck. It's about to be midnight. Well, we're about to get into Cinco de Mayo. This isn't my Cinco de Mayo stream. I have something uh, in store for you guys tomorrow on that. But, um... Yeah, I watched the fights earlier. Uh, obviously, I'm wearing the fucking shirt. I watched the fights earlier, and then I was just chilling for a little bit, and I decided I want to do the stream, but I obviously didn't want to do it this late. I actually wanted to do it yesterday or earlier today. But last night, I had a few people over, um, and we thought it was a great idea to drink the whole night. And stay up to uh, until McDonald's opens. So we did that. Probably not the smartest idea or the smartest thing that I've ever done in my life. But I mean, we did it. So my sleeping schedule is F-U-C-K-E-D. But um, yeah, I'm, I realistically should be in bed already. But I'm fucking deciding to do a stream right now. I'm, I'm deciding to do a stream because I want to stay consistent. And also to... Um, I'm fucking not tired. And I'm actually going to drink right now, too. So, fuck it. Even though I drank earlier, um, I'm going to drink a few of them on stream right now. Uh, actually, let's just fucking just get it popping. So, cheers. If you're not doing anything, let's get it going. God damn it. Why the fuck? Aren't these twist us? Why the? Oh, dude, that is not no fucking twist off. It's just going to pierce my skin. Got a fucking towel around here. Yeah, that's not working. There we go. Yeah, I think it worked a little bit, but cheers. Why is there fucking turbulence on the Hold up, guys. Let me check something real quick. Yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, just skip you skip all the stuff you already know. Hmm. That's odd. Um, <clears throat> wait. Let me fucking get rid of that though. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I know. I know. I know. Um, yo, what's up, Oflex, bro? I had Canelo winning by round one. Really? Why? You thought he was gonna beat him, and you thought he was gonna knock him out in round one? Uh, I then now that Oplex tapped in, now I'm gonna give my uh my actual take. So early on, dude, it's and I think Oplex was the one that told me that Mungia gets reckless sometimes, and he really pushes the the pace, and he fucking did. He came in hot and heavy. And he was he was on a fucking mission, dude. He really wanted to fucking like send a message and shit. And there was some points where I was like kind of worried for Canelo, but then round three or four happened where he dropped him, and then after that it was all Canelo. But yeah, it could have been a mix of Mungia being inexperienced. I'm, I wouldn't I wouldn't even say that. It's probably just him being young, eager, you know, trying to <clears throat> prove a point, but. Obviously, he didn't. He's a good boxer. He's a good boxer. And my biggest question is, does if Munguia were to fight Benavides, does Munguia beat Benavides? Uh, Walnut Head, yo. No, I mean, I had him winning by round one. Like, uh... Oh, by... Oh, fuck. My bad. I, I misread that. By one round. Are you serious? I mean, they, they okay. Let me let me let me put it this way. I feel like 
that the the um as the judges were scoring the the rounds like i was doing my own personal scoring too but i feel like mungia wasn't that far behind you know what i mean like yeah he was losing and he was losing the rounds but he wasn't that far behind so i mean it could could have been some arguable rounds but i mean i think the judges got it right uh if mungia didn't get dropped i would have had it a tie that fight was close yeah i think it was pretty close too not i mean not on the scorecards but like if you're watching it i think i think it was close the thing though is like mungia just threw a bunch of reckless shots and Canelo's were just clean, you know, punches and shit like that. Nah, that fight was not that close, Jaime. I think Munguia only won four rounds. Canelo was doing more damage with his shots, but Munguia was throwing the more shots and better combos. But yeah, yeah that's true. But the, uh, for me, it's like, I don't even think he was landing them. You know, not, not that he wasn't landing them, but they just like, Canelo was blocking them for the majority of the time. Bro, but was just hitting his gloves. The judges, <clears throat> the judges had, fuck my bad. The judges also had it close. I think they only gave him three more rounds. Ultimately, guys, I think they got it right. It was a good fight. Um, but now what happens, right? Is does Benavides or uh, does Canelo fight Benavides? I know what well, what's gonna happen. Now nah, judges were tripping. Yeah, Canelo just uh too smart. No was hitting a lot of body No, he was hitting a lot of body shots and some shots were landing to the head. He was I think uh, uh I well I don't know because like uh, like obviously some sometimes like the stats that go into play is like percentage landed and all that stuff and yeah Mungia definitely threw a lot more punches, but I think his I think his uh Land shot percentage rate or whatever you want to call it was like 20% Canelo's was like 40 Good fight though Nonetheless Mungia too <clears throat> young It was like when Canelo fought Mayweather Oplex literally said that in the last stream He literally said that in the last stream <clears throat> So he did call it Um, But yeah Mungia's a fucking dog bro He's really good And he's only 27 That dude's fucking He's young as shit <clears throat> It was a back and forth fight. It uh, has to be one of the best Canelo fights in years. What about the one? What was it last year or two years ago when he lost to Bivol? Yeah, that fight was a little different. I think Canelo just bit too much then uh, he could chew. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to get right into this uh, GTA 5 stuff. So let's fucking do it. We can continue to talk about all these games or these games. We can continue to talk about... Um, boxing and stuff but my first beer for the stream guys so hey, give me another beer bitch you guys already know <laughs> i've drinking 25 beers throughout this entire stream that's fucking dumb it just <clears throat> hold up it just shows mungia will most likely be the next canelo face of boxing or face of mexico either way he proved he's an elite fighter i i agree with that i i agree with that Okay, <clears throat> looks like I have a mission with Franklin. So let's go with Franklin. No, what the fuck? Why does it always do that? Hold up, guys. What the fuck? Why is there? There's a hell of fucking traffic. Um. Oh well, yeah, we gotta go to Franklin's house. that fucking taxi I ain't about to fucking drive all that
No! Fuck! Bro, how hard is it just to get a damn cab? Dude, my fucking back hurts. What the fuck? Oh, dude, this guy dropped me off on the wrong fucking side. Shit, my damn bed. Sorry about that, sweetie. Fuck this. What the fuck am I listening to? The fuck are you doing, Franklin? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me, it can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar, you gotta help him, Franklin. Man, this shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? <laughs> phony I fuck? You gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My you could have just said that, bitch. After this motherfucking paying the price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. <clears throat> for you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. <sighs> Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> Bro, what happened to my fucking car? Did she take my car? Oh, there it is. Who moved my car? Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some saw me. You know, with some ballers. Could you like do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Now, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike... What the fuck? Why are we getting all these guys involved? Meet me up there. They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me. And it's serious. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Reuniting the fucking 
two boyfriends. Damn. What the fuck am I listening to? Fucking dipshit. The fucking leopard? The fucking tiger. Is that a fucking deer? Oh, I'm gonna get that bitch. Oh no, that's a fucking person. Eh, close enough. Oh, there was the fucking deer. Damn. Why the fuck did it make me go through like this route? Get the fuck out of my way! Damn, 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 don't fucking fall off course. Fucking Franklin. Bro, who's gonna find you if you fucking die here? Oh, fuck! Okay, see, now you don't have a car, dumbass. Run! Fuck, and that shit's far, dude. Can I call a cab? You guys think a, a fucking taxi won't make it all the way up here? I think I know this hey, mission. Can I get a cab? Sorry. Yeah, we're not. I don't think we're that far. I think we're. Yeah, we're already here. So, I mean, I guess I could run the rest of the way. Fuck, they're already here. Hey, 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 why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Oh, I remember this mission. Ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but <laughs> suede bucks over there. <laughs> Yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I say it, shut up. I now, fucking see, love these guys, man. Where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, <sighs> classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, <clears throat> fuck. <clears throat> I'm gonna find a way in. <clears throat> Get to an assault position. Well, the easiest one to get to is this one. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. 
There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me. By the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. But I won't be able to cover you. Alright, thanks. Here's where I'm making my play. I'm going right at him. Alright, my turn to move. Alright, I'm at the spot. When the time comes, I'll do what I can from up here. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. Maybe. I thought fucking... <laughs> thought uh, Franklin was gonna faceplant there. See them, there's literally nobody. Frank, you found Lamar yet? No, Tom, just one of those. You got a friend of ours. The fuck, dude, come on. <laughs> what? Oh, he's up there. What's up, homie? There he is! LD! Hey, Lamar, let's go before they turn you into wood chip. Oh, crazy dude! Hey, homie! Yeah, 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 yeah. get up. Let's go. There's more of them coming. A lot more. Move it, guys. Come on! Oh, Frank's here, too. Hey, Frank, you thought he came by himself? Come on, man. More niggas on the way. Hey, you moving up in the world, homie. I ain't never seen this many motherfuckers want to kill. That's a fucking kind of compliment, nigga, even from you.
fuck? Oh, we're for sure gonna get chased though. Five miles of oh, oh. all right later, Trevor. Bitches got to jump on me though. How did get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't feel let a little drive standing in the way of a money making opportunity. Or I get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pest. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretching me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy cush by the missing. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Clapping your ass. Man, you show, cause I'm sure there's been a few times when, no. I'm Happens, guys. Show. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs. Talking about the weather, whatever. Oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. Man, this is hard, dawg. That's the hood you talk about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been a uh, veteran yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central. Ah, I have a feeling we're gonna get fucked. Told you, fucking told you. I'll take Lamar. All right, I'm going too. Thanks, sneaky dude. I still ain't met your ass. All right, you too. Go, 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 go. Hey, T, you got to tell the people up at the strip club that your boy Long Dick drank for free. You heard? Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How did get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Because in reality... Right, here you go, guys. <laughs> you wanna clap your ass. Man, what a trust Any you opportunity I get, guys, I'm gonna take it. Place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit, stretching me up. I'm like, yeah. hey. that's the perfect place to buy cush by the busy. The perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap. Every meet you set up. Homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show. Cause I'm sure there's been a few times. No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. It's the hood you're talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been a uh, veteran yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like. Here you go, guys. Boom! Look at them. Oh, Fucked up. Oh, oh fuck, people have tents and shit. Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got. And we gon' do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping. What the fuck you call it? Me, Michael. Trump. Oh, dude, this car's fucking slower than shit. We all came up here to help. The unholy fucking Trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. Jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? And I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. 
Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead. Bro, this still. fucking car slow. Shit. As fuck. Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga, stress knew. Everybody knew stress knew. Tanisha knew stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Oh, okay, I'm gonna take that shit for sure. From back in the day, from like the other day, dog. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them bones no, to take us down. It's mine. Get the fuck out. Come on. No, 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 don't call the police on me, bitch. Fuck. There's another one right there. The fuck did I hit? Bro, with this fucking truck, I always hear like Franklin running shit over. I don't even know what the fuck I'm hitting. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit. I, I, but tell me this though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So stress sends you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. Oh, fuck. Don't go down there. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dog. But it like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. Damn, Damn dude. dude. When I came in, you was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them trolls, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies. You. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you would think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the great plain beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, what? please. Well, that's one hell of a conversation between those two. Yeah, Lamar's an idiot. <laughs> That's all I can say, guys. Lamar's a fucking idiot. He's always getting Franklin into some, sh some shit. Hey, he's funny. He's a character. Don't get me wrong, but the dude's just an idiot. Our security forces <laughs> nigga. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga, don't think it ain't no fun if he had fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga. Um, you know your nigga out here doing VAD, man. What's my 
buy me a few dollars or something. You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the city. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, <laughs> thank you. I guess it's paying for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. <coughs> you know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Oh, fuck you, Lamar. No, nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dog? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga. If you remember where that is. <laughs> oh! What's up, oh, player? Oh, shit. Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Oh, fuck. His wife fuck. Or, something, or invade some fucking country? No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. It's fucked up. Fuck. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Oh, flossing ass, nigga. <laughs> That's fucked up. So this is probably, like, the decision-making part. Oh, that is fucked up, Franklin. You only gave him 50 bucks. What the fuck? I've talked to my dad's not a complete ass, so I'm going to the premieres. Movie Church Bro got to meet him at the... Haunted by so he can get a tux. The next stop, the red carpet swag. Fuck's this? Um, what's that? F question mark. Marianne. Oh, there's a fucking taxi right there. Thank God, perfect timing. Where are you headed, Vinewood Hill. Hmm. Well, guys, this is already the beginning of the end, right? Is this like a? S oh my God. <laughs> What the fuck was that about? Fucking asshole. That was like the weirdest fucking thing ever. Just steal the car, Frank or Trevor. Yeah, now we're stuck with this shit. Bro, what the fuck is up with everybody hitting him? Give me a break.
shit, shit, shit! What the fuck is that blimp? Why'd I call the fucking blimp? Hi, this is Atomic Blimp. Can I help you? I assume the only way you can help me is to send out a blimp. I have one available right now. I'll have them drop it off as soon as possible. Excellent. Thank you what? for calling Atomic Blimp Services. Goodbye. The fuck's all that about? What's that? What you get, buddy? Uh. What the fuck was she? That was weird. They think they own the road. Think about that for a minute. If they get in power, then they pass legislation, so they do own the road. I'm getting a little bit sleepy though guys, which is good. So I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last. I'll try to pull through. So what I'll do is I'll try to pull through for these next missions and then tomorrow I'll do my best to give you guys a fucking a pretty decent part. Maybe I'll fi I'll finish the game tomorrow too. And like I said, it's uh, Cinco de Mayo tomorrow, so I'll uh, have a little setup and everything for all that good stuff. Bro, how fucking far is this? Alright, here we go, guys. No, 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 no. You are, we're already up here. Fuck it up. No, it's this bitch. I don't care what you say. Shut your mouth. Shut it. Shut. Just keep it shut. Oh, you know full well exactly what you did. This is gonna be great. Trevor's gonna fall in love. Surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week. All right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something! Oh, I wish you were dead, I really do. <laughs> oh, I love you! <laughs> oh, let me take you away from all of this! Fucking psycho! You're gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are... Completely have no control of your emotions. That's my type of riz. Dead ass, huh? On the bike. Bitch is crazy. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, fuck, come on. You are just perfect, crazy cakes. Fuck that guy. Incredible. Marry me. Be done with this. Shut up. Don't talk to me. I defended your honor. I took out the alpha male. Evolution demands that we rot like beasts. Oh, God. They're in the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit. Get to your own line. Oh, no. Don't tell me I gave you the carbon bike. 
Oh my god. You need a guy like me. Stay out of my way. Is that supposed to impress me? Fuck you, bitch. Oh. Where did you come from? Just think of all the angry revenge sex. I am not having sex with you. Get that through your thick head. Okay, you jack me off into a cop, slap me around. We got options, baby. You need help. We both do. It's a recipe for disaster. That's why it's so perfect. Mature woman, come on, baby. Woo! I win. Come That's on. it. Come on, what? Sex reward. <laughs> Sex that reward. Work. You're deluded. Spread your genome in a gym sock. Oh, fuck! I love you. Hold me. Can I kill her? Where is she? Fuck, bro, she's still at it. Oh, no, you can't shoot her. But can I, like, hit her with, like, a fucking car? Oh, oh, she's gonna get hit. Oh, barely she did it. Fuck, but now I got the cops. Come on, Trevor, get up. Take the car. Let's go hit this bitch. Come on. Where is she? Ah, oh, she's long gone now. Oh no, she's right there. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Oh! Bro, did the cops kill her? The cops fucking bodied her ass. Oh my god, that's terrible. Rest in peace, Marianne. You're a crazy cycle, bitch. Bro, I'm dead. Yeah, bro, she's fucking dead too. Damn it. Run. Motherfucker. What the fuck is that over there? Oh, it's a light tower, I guess. <laughs> run, Trevor, run, 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 run. Where am I? Alrighty, let's go to Michael. It's always the same drama. People just don't get that this is art. Oh, excuse me. You know what? What you get, bitch? You are fired. You're Michael, listen, I know you're probably more a little upset than me than literally I can uh, necessarily proud of myself. Okay. Yeah, 
masturbating has now won fame or shame. I find 3D street maps include upscale shots for paid advertising. Oh my god, here we go. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Prime Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. It's nice I can log on and see her secret places anytime. Look great on you. Cut up, bitch. <laughs> Meet Jimmy. Make I sure hate you this guy out. to drive us. Get in the back. What the fuck are you wearing, Jimmy? Let's hang out this weekend. A stretch limo. Oh, that's pure class, Jim. Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer. Oh, what the Jimmy, fuck? He's on the get roof. Back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy. I'm going to ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm going to get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on the reality fuck is he doing? show. And then I'm going to sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm going to use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm going to make even shittier movies than my dad does. Because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the streets edge losers? Chisel in the movie bizzle! Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! <laughs> and not to, like, gawk at Jimmy's wild. behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! To the Bro, this limo to just blowing red Jimmy, lights and shit. Read my necros entitled E N T uh, title because I am Jimmy. Oh, pop chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Oh my god, Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look, I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, Slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. <sighs> Hell yeah, boys. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. What is your problem? I know you've done this before. I don't know who the fuck employed you. Where the fuck are you? Hey, 
then uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind, I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and Oh my god, it's fucking Lazlo. A meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame. Um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. <laughs> come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um... Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick I just have a hug. Later, Oplex. Really thanks thanks uh, for stopping by. Dude, so I'm much. fucking going to me. sleep in a bit right now, too. I'm just trying to get through on, these let's missions. Get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife, seems to be stuck oh at my home. God. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. What's happening? Where's mom? Come on. The girls might be in trouble at the house. You got two minutes to sacrifice yourself for your family, dickhead. Save your family? What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right, okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. If he's done anything to hurt her. Shit, what's that car? All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. I'm gonna find the girls. Save them, Pop. Oh my god. Amanda died. Well, good riddance. Fuck. He's a single man. He can fuck bitches, go to strippers. The fuck screw are you, you doing? Asshole, screw you. I'm seriously gonna the shoot you. The fuck are you doing? Fucking hands off me. I'm not Do joking, it. lady. The fuck are you yeah. doing? Oh no. No, she died again. <laughs> Oh fuck you idiot Michael! You shot your own daughter! Stop fucking up! Uh, one of them's in the Tracy! We gotta get in there, Michael! He's in there with our girl! Mom dead! Fucking <laughs> animals! <laughs> Well, we got rid of all three of them. Fuck it. All right, for real this time. Mom's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. I'm fucking snipe the shit out of that guy.
Guys, this fucking mission's harder than it seems. Fuck, a whole ass truck pulled up. Two whole ass truck pulls up. Oh my god. Say something! Get cover! Bend over here! Oh, I just can't fucking see, man. Just fucking chuck a grenade over there. Blow up all the fucking cars that are here. Up good though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Meltdown. Hey, like the song. Tea time, tea time, tea time. They came to my house. Why are we sounding my phone? My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Merriweather isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor does Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. Uh, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Oh, fuck. So the heist is already next, huh? The big score. All right, I think that's a good place to stop right there. And either way, guys, it's pretty fucking late already. Um, so yeah, I don't got too much to say. Again, a recap of my fucking day. Canelo, you're fucking goat, dude. That was fucking clean for putting on for Mexicans and Mexico in general. So yeah, that um, that was a nice victory. Uh, Mungia, your future champ, man. I I I, I fuck with that guy. He's uh, I feel like he'll definitely um get somewhere with his boxing career 
Um, other than that, like I said, guys, tomorrow's going to be another chill Sunday for me. Nothing too crazy. Um, going to have to uh, regroup and get my stuff ready for my work week. Um, so tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, or technically right now Cinco de Mayo. Hey, shout out Cinco de Mayo. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I will stream, uh, get that over with. And I'm going to actually look how far out I am from beating the game. And if I'm close, I'm more than willing to fucking stream however long it takes to get that, uh, that game done. So, oh, I didn't even hit the trigger for the other one. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. So that puts me at... 26 beers so far <clears throat> um but yeah guys that pretty much does it for this part um until then i'll catch you guys in the next one peace and chicken fucking grease